if you're tuning into the video, chances are you own a Rage mod and you might be having issues with getting your computer to run the software update. So I brought in, look at this, look at all that. This is all <laughs> ITness right here. Just screams. This this is what a thousand dollars an hour looks like. Oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ. This is Jason Fader, and he's my go-to guy because I'm a dumbass and I got the update and I spent four hours on my Mac trying to do a PC update, a PC only update. But I have no I have no idea. I don't know computers. I had no I, I don't JPEG. I don't PNG, I don't know this stuff, <laughs> these files. And so I contact Jason and I'm like, hey dude, struggling hard, I'm getting ready to punch my computer. I cannot get this update to go for the life of me, dude. And you know, he says some IT stuff like, oh, well, you know, uh, you're, you're using a Mac and, <laughs> and what you need to do is you need to uh, unzip the file, go to RAR, and then you need to double right click, run as administration, and then uh, make sure you back up your database. And so what I did was I, uh, I, I grabbed the mod and I hopped in my car and, I, and I, drove, I drove to his office. I drove to local vape and said, show me. Jason agreed to uh, walk us through the update and show us how to get it done, not only on Windows, but also on a Mac. The Mac way is gonna take a little bit longer, but it's worth the update. It literally will double your battery life. You double the battery life of the Rage. Right now, uh, the cutoff voltage is somewhere like 3.75, and the update drops that down to three volts. So you're basically getting double the voltage out of your rage which is actually going to be healthier for your batteries you want to you know almost completely discharge these batteries before you recharge them and give it a full duty cycle so this update not only will help your batteries out but it, it'll also make it to where you, know, you can take the mod out with you full days worth of work and you know you're not having to bring an extra set of batteries with you so jason thank you you're welcome for being the most badass computer geek I know. Look at this. Does that look like the face of an IT guy? Look at this. This dude looks like he will rob you. Like, I'm. where'd my wallet go? Over here. <laughs> Did you steal my wallet, bro? God, man. Yeah, but thanks to Jason and Local Vape for helping us all out. And let's, let's do this. All right, so the first thing you're gonna do is go to localvape.com. Um, you're gonna type in the rage. Once you get here, um, just pick the rage here. Down here, there's a firmware update. Click on that. It'll start to download, but it's gonna download that RAR file that some of you guys are having problems with. So, for the people that don't that need help with this, you're gonna go over here to this website, which is roarlab.com/download/htm. Um, you're gonna go to your type here type about your PC once you get here right down here it's gonna tell you what bit you're running so I'm running 64 bit so I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna click the 64 bit it's gonna start to download that you're gonna unzip it and you're gonna install that file just hit open so once you're done with that you're gonna click on here which will open WinRoar and then from there you're gonna pick the program itself drag and drop that onto your desktop and we're gonna close all this stuff and then uh, once you're done with that you're gonna double click on this guy here and it will open up the software so you're gonna plug in your USB cable that comes inside the box of the Rage you're gonna have your software open which we just went over hold these two buttons together at the same time and plug it in you're going to hit start and then you should be done okay so you can put the batteries back in the rage and five clicks to get into the menu and then you're just going to scroll through the menu and you're going to see the software update 
is inside the menu now and that way you know that it took and you're good to go. Alright for all you Mac users go to the Apple Store you're gonna find this Parallels Desktop Lite you're gonna hit install once you install it click open which it'll probably take about 10 minutes 5 to 10 minutes um, I always just click don't send but you can hit automatically send to help you guys out once this opens you're going to pick Windows and support try or buy um, for this you're just gonna click new user we're gonna create homeboy his own from here click create account put in your name um, also a password Once this is done, it creates you a login. And then from here, you're just going to pick the free 14 days um, and hit try. Right here, you're just going to run um, continue it for free. Click install Windows. And we're going to speed this up because this is going to take a good 20 minutes or so. So we'll jump towards the end. Once it's done here, you're going to click OK. It's going to go through a bunch of installs here too. So we'll skip through this. But this also takes a good 10, 15 minutes. And then now it's going to start to create the Windows parallel. Yeah, this takes another several minutes. So I'm just going to skip through it all. But once you get here, you'll click on the little green guy. It's going to take over your screen. And then you're going to make sure that your actual internet card's working. So click on that little gear, click on network, and make sure that shared network recommended is clicked. So that way it's using the Wi Fi that you already have um, connected onto your Mac itself. And then we're just going to basically run through the same thing we ran through on the PC because now we're basically running a PC over here so you're gonna roar labs and now you're gonna type down here about my PC um, so that way you can see that this one is also 64-bit so we're gonna download WinRAR 64-bit on this guy as well if you do that you just click run and then you're just gonna greet all this hit install hit OK hit done and then from here you're gonna go into we'll go a different way so we'll go desiredesign.com scroll all the way to the bottom yes I'm over 18 click on that firmware update the rage squonk software upgrade hit save view downloads I'm going to click on this. We already downloaded WinRAR, so that's what we're in. Click on the upgrade, which will open this folder. Okay, and then we're just going to drag and drop this onto our desktop the same way. And then from here, you can hit yes if you see this. And then it will open up the software, and we're pretty much done. So you're just going to plug it in. It's going to ask you um, new eternal, external device detected. You're going to click on Windows 10 so that way it will actually run um, through the Windows 10 parallel so just click it and I just put always allow and then I'll plug in the mod click start hold those two buttons and we're pretty much done hope everything worked out for you guys and this was helpful